Hey, love buds, it's Heidi. Uh, and happy new year, holy cow. So here we are, it is 2020. Ah! So excited for 2020, raise your hand if you are ready for this. I know I am. I am so, so ready for this. I am dressed in my 2020 outfit, which is just basically sparkle. It's my Coco I Love Apple. And look at these awesome, awesome leggings my daughter picked out for me. Look at the detail. Oh my good gravy. I don't know if you can see that. It's like so shiny though. It is so shiny. And I'm just like in love. Okay, enough of that. Um, I'm gonna be taking some stuff apart and putting it back together in a different way to make something new. Because 2020 is literally gonna be about being creative, new creations, things that are happening, things that are gonna be popping up. It's gonna be great. Oh my goodness, it's gonna be great. So, oh, I have so many things that I wanna talk to you guys about. This year is gonna be the year I finally get my seeing eye dog. I know I said it last year for like the longest time. I'm so pumped. I'm so finally ready for this. So, behind me is the big apparatus I'm about to be taking apart. And with all luck, it's gonna go inside my room and just stop worrying, you know, whatever I trip into into the morning. So like basically I'm gonna take the big thing apart and I'm gonna put it down here. And once it's down here, I'll be able to move all that crazy up. So I don't know if you're able to see all that, but yeah, it's pretty crazy. <laughs> and I think I wanna take this thing off. I don't know if it'll let me. I think it's under this one. Okay, so that's pretty cool. Oh my good gravy. So that was gonna drive me up a happy wall, trying to, um, edit this out so yeah so we're gonna take um this behemoth there we go facing so we're gonna take this behemoth and we're gonna turn it into something that i can use inside my closet it's actually really cute like i'm digging like all these little things here on the side but no um we're gonna get rid of all that because we can okay so back to taking this apart taking this apart was actually a lot of fun I guess the most unfortunate thing though is that I really didn't finish the project but just getting my aggression out on it as I was banging it down taking it apart and throwing pieces off it was so much fun oh this used to belong to my daughter <sighs> yeah but she's not in use of it anymore and my husband was like that's the ugliest thing i've ever seen so <laughs> and we got it she got it from wish and it's actually pretty well made like for the price that she paid for it which i think was like 14 bucks so the seeing eye dogs we're just gonna go back to that for just like half a second the seeing eye dogs that were um new this year are so freaking cute and like i said earlier it's donation supported they're not like supported by the government or anything which i find odd but oh well i'm not the one doing it so Oh, I just hit my phone. <laughs> there you go. Ooh, we should call this 2020's Epic Fails by Heidi. Oh, and I just realized just how weak I am. I still can't get this one out. Oh, I got it. Yay! Surprise! Epic win. Um, but yeah, I love being able to go places when I want, do things when I want. And I know a lot of you are thinking, don't you do that right now? But the truth is, I stay in my house a lot. Like, I hide from the world a lot just because I don't like to be outside of my kid a whole lot. Um, number one, it puts stress on the cane and I have to keep buying like new parts for the cane because using it a lot makes it go bad, no lie. Um, using a seeing eye dog, the seeing eye dog will not go bad as fast as the cane. Oh, I just gotta put this over here. Um, a seeing eye dog will last years and give you love and affection and just everything. Woo! Oh, did you hear that pop? That was awesome. Love and affection and everything that you need so that way you're not walking by yourself. My kids right now, they have this thing that they do where every time you come up to an intersection, like they think I'm a four year old and I can't cross by myself and they're like, follow us mommy. It's like, listen, I promise you, I can cross the street. But they're just worried about me being hit by a car even though they have, they don't need to worry. I can do it by myself, I'm a big girl. Woo. Okay, um, back to seeing our dogs. If you wanna donate, go to www.guidedog.org. There. Um, there's a lot that goes into the application process. Believe it or not, only 10% of people who like apply for seeing eye dogs actually get one, or it's some kind of percentage like that. And the reason for that is um, that a lot of blind people just can't take care of them by themselves. You have to be able to take, what in the heck? It moved? Huh? Oh, this must be where the little, oh, I know what this is. This is like one of those little things that you can hang like your clothes on. It's like the little bar. How cute is that? 
satisfy. Um, so yeah. Ugh. If you can't take care of the dog, like by yourself, then most likely you're not going to be able to get the dog. They want competent people who aren't going to like beat the dog or neglect the dog or um, accidentally leave the dog somewhere like at a friend's house during a party or something. So yeah. And you know what? To be straight up honest, I wish they had those kind of standards for people having kids. Seriously. But oh, they don't. Uh, there we go. So we are down to, I hope, the bare minimum on this thing. Oh, the whole thing came off. Ooh. Oh, I thought that was gonna work. Hold on. Ah. Nope, still can't do it. Oh. Yeah, I thought if I just like hit it hard enough, all three of them would come off. Ha <laughs> ha! Expectations versus reality. <laughs> reality wins. there. Have you guys ever wanted something so bad you would like stay up all night to achieve it, even if you couldn't achieve it? Oh gosh. Oh, the other side just came off right like that and now I can just pull this out. Dude, my gifts. You can give. You can give to the seeing eye. Oh, see how I put that in there? Epic. Okay. It was raining outside. Oh, he just sniffed the phone. Ah, ah, wet. Ah. It's just us right now, so that yeah. this is the Duke. D, D picture. She's like all wet because she was outside. Hey, hey, wet dog. Hey, wet dog. Ah, no. <laughs> so back to this. Yay! Let's keep taking this thing apart. Uh, love that popping sound. So if you guys have a subject you want to talk about, just put it down in the comments. My phone will read it to me. We will talk about it. If you have any questions you have for me, put it down in the comments. We will talk about it. Doof. I just think this is so cool. Uh, I wonder if they had these like in the olden days, but like made out of wood. Hey guys, sorry for all the really shaky camera work done here. I kind of just got so excited I didn't even notice that you would be watching this and wondering what. Uh, give me some subjects, guys. What do you want to talk about in the new year? Let me ask you what you want to talk about. What do you want to discuss? Do you have some problems that you need to get off your chest? Do you have some problems with me that you need to get off your chest? That's what a therapist is for. But, no, I'm showing this. It's, it's front facing. They don't want to see my chest. Shoot, I don't even want to. I know it's not there. Really, Tom? Wow. You got jokes, huh? <laughs> oh, damn. Look at that. Like, we are beating ugh, this out. Honestly, I was just having a lot of fun beating this structure down and just enjoying myself. <laughs> okay, back to this. I will just start talking about like random stuff. Okay, so at this point, I just went on the biggest ramble ever. I started talking about all my favorite animes, my favorite shows on TV, my favorite books, and of course, all the favorite things that I like to do when I'm not reading or watching TV, like making videos for you. Yes, and if any of you go on Webtoon, or if any of you are Webtoon creators, oh my goodness, I read Webtoon like no one's business. Please suggest some really good stories for me. Um, yes, no, no, I am that crazy person that likes to know the ending of a book before I read the beginning, because it tells me whether or not I wanna read the book. Like, I do not like books that are like single books, where the bad guy gets away with everything and then like okay once again i went on this huge ramble but this time about books and authors and things that i like and things that i don't like about them so sorry about this little break if so this is literally what it looks like now this is the whole hot mess i've got going on over here you guys throwing another one on the pile and another one Woo! 
oh, I'm so happy for this new year. I'm so happy that I get to spend it with my family. Now I know a lot of people out there are not able to spend it with their family, so I'm not like gloating. Um, I'm just saying that I feel blessed. I know that there's a lot of people out there who have to spend whew, New Year away from their family and loved ones because of their job or because of like personal circumstance. And yeah, I totally get that. I'm not able to spend New Year with my mom and dad and, and you know other people that I love, but I am able to spend it with this hot tamale over here. Yeah, he's so cute. But you won't ever see it, huh? Oh yeah, this thing again. Okay. And this is what it looks like on my couch. Just a whole hot mess with these on the bottom. Whole hot mess, these on the bottom. Yeah. So yeah, so we're gonna end it here. I want to wish you guys a happy new year. Please tell me all the awesome projects that you have planned for the new year that you have planned with your family. Maybe one of the projects that you have is learning something new. Maybe um, a, a goal that you have even is like learning to swim. I, I still need to do that. It's, it's in the making. Um, or maybe it's like getting rid of an addiction you have, like my addiction to these here. I just love that. Look at that. That is so cool. Look at that. Oh, it's upside down. But still, two shiny things. So yeah, just let me know in the comments below. And the next time that I see you guys, be sure to come on, like, comment. Have a good night. I love you. And welcome to 2020.